Hello, hello, and welcome, scholars, doctors. Today, finally, we can stop looking at Gary's guts and blood and bones and muscles because we're doing the immune system and we got Gary some new skin. So I got a picture of Gary up on the screen there so you can take a look. Yes, Gary, he looks like he's ready for the beach. He's got his swim trunks on. Yep, and uh, he's got his brown skin that you all voted for. And uh, I gave uh, him blue hair because everybody, the second most popular color was blue. And I figured, well, he's going to need some hair. He's got to have some hair. He can't be a bald monster. I mean, he could, but he's not. So I gave him some blue hair. There's Gary. Look at him. He is ready. Now, um, I guess he's going to the beach because he wants to get some sun. And uh, fortunately for him, uh, because he's got the brown skin, he's got a lot of melanin in his skin. That's going to protect him against the sun. He should probably still wear some sunscreen, though. He don't, doesn't want to get burned. But uh, it's definitely going to uh, help him. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, Gary with skin. Now, um, I mentioned Gary because I want to know what is skin even for? Why do we have skin? Well, your skin well, holds everything in. I just said that it can protect you against the sun a little bit, right? Um, me less so. Mm. But um, it also... Uh, it also plays a part in keeping us protected. Yeah. So what on earth is it protecting us from? Let us find out. Because, uh, well, there's a, your body is a battlefield. Dun, dun, dun. Your body is always in battle. Okay. And who, who is your body? in battle with let's take a look uh-oh they're evil they are the posse of pathogens no Yes, the posse of pathogens. Pathogens, they're germs, basically, right? They are microscopic uh, little things, super, I mean, you can't see them with just your eye. You need a microscope to see it. They are, um, they're little things, and if they get into your body, they like to replicate themselves and make more of themselves and cause all kinds of havoc in your body and make you sick. Okay, so let's let's meet the villains. Now, um, if you ever had strep throat, okay, then uh, maybe you uh, had a bacteria, okay? So there we go, the evil bacteria. Okay, you see my arm there, good, all right. Let's write the word bacteria. Okay, all right. Some, uh, some colds are from bacterias, okay? Uh, ooh, that's the next one. Unfortunately, I think we're all a little too familiar with right now, and that is viruses. So I'm going to draw a virus right now, and I think you know this virus because it's got like a little crown on its head. Right, there's a, you know the coronavirus? Okay, so we're going to do a virus. All right, and let's see, what else do we have? 
Oh no. We have dun 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 dun. There's a fungus among us. Yes. Now, um, funguses, or shall I say, fun guy. All right, a fungus is not a fun guy. <laughs> fun guy is a plural version of a fungus. Okay. Here we go. I'm just gonna have the fungus walking here. Brrr, fungus. There we go. If you ever had athlete's foot or ringworm, Ugh. yeah, I've had ringworm. I do jujitsu, which means I'm wrestling people, and wrestling is definitely a place where your skins are rubbing together. And well, unfortunately, no matter how clean you try to stay, ringworm happens. It's not a worm, it's actually fungus. Okay. Speaking of worms, though, yes, you could have worms. Yep, you could. Hold on. I'm drawing it all wrong. Let me redraw this. Okay. Yeah, worms. You can have worms. Yep. Now... I know it's spring and it's raining out and the worms are starting to come out, right? Um, not that kind of worm, although they do kind of look like that. But um, they're, again, microscopic. Pathogens are microscopic, okay? So we call them parasites, but I'm going to call them worms because it's a little simpler, okay? And they're really tiny and they are... Uh, no good. They can make you sick. Maybe you have ever heard of tapeworms or hookworm. All right. They're like these little parasites that get into your body. They live off of your body. Ooh, there's also one that's awful. It's called, um, pinworms, right? And they, well, <laughs> yeah, they're no good. So they get into your body. They cause all kinds of mayhem. What are we going to do? Who's going to save us? Well, fortunately for you, we have an immune system. Yay! Yes, that is our own personal security system. All right. So our immune system is what we use to fight diseases or any pathogen that gets into our body. So I'm going to draw Gary here. All right. Let me draw Gary. There's Gary. This new skin. Hello, Gary. So there's Gary. And as I said before, your immune system, the first line of defense is... Your skin. Yeah. So I'm going to draw a shield here. So, yeah, your skin and your mucous membranes. Mucous membranes. Well, hold on. Your skin is uh, wrapped, wraps your whole body up. But, you know, you got holes in your body, naturally. Got two right there. Your nose holes. Got that hole in your face that you shove food in. You got holes in your ear. And they lead into tubes. Mr. Bowen and his tubes again. Why is Mr. Bowen talking about all those tubes in my body? Yes. The uh, skin and the mucous membranes. The mem mucous membrane is like this layer that protects all the stuff that's open in your skin, right? So if you go inside a part of your body, it's got a layer of a mucous membrane, okay? And so that's gonna do the first line of defense. The germs are gonna always try to attack and you got your skin. <gasps> what if you step on a rusty nail? Ow! Now, what if there was pathogens on that nail? Oh no! Well, guess what? You have an immune system. 
It's your skin can't do it alone, right? It needs help, okay? So the first thing that usually will happen if something gets in your body, like right away, is you will have these things called mast cells. Yes. And the mast cells, what they do is they, bro, they are swole. <laughs> yes, they get so swole. All right. The mast cells, they will swell. They will swell up a part of your body so it could block um, stuff, right? It also sends a lot of uh, blood flow to an area to block it and then be able to fight it, all right? It does all kinds of things like with swelling, okay? Even like when you have allergies, right? Your sinuses swell, okay? And all the mucus comes pouring out, right? So those are called your mast cells. And um, those are awesome because they try to stop things right away. It's not the most effective. But it, uh, but it's it's it it plays an important part, okay. Um, also, who here has ever had a fever? Right, if you've had a fever before, guess what? You've had a pyrogen. Yep, big words in Mr. Bowen's class. Pyro meaning fire, and gin. Now, it's true that uh, sometimes a virus will have its own pyrogens that it brings to the battle, okay? But you naturally do have your own, uh, your own set of, of pyrogens, okay? And basically, what they do, see, he's got a thermometer in his mouth. What they do is, uh, pyrogens, they make your, they, they warm your body up. Yeah, if you had a fever before, then you've had pyrogens attacking a pathogen. Yeah, so the pyrogen will, will, will raise your body temperature, and, uh, and, and, and some, a lot of pathogens don't, don't like hot temperatures, so they'll, 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 they'll be weakened, right? Um, and uh, yeah, it's, and also makes, makes things flow to the areas that need it most, right? When your body's warmed up like that. So pyrogens have, uh, um, they, they cause fevers, okay? And that's actually your body doing that. Most of the time, it's your body doing it. If you get a pathogen in your body and your body responds by creating a fever, all right? Now, hold on. That's only the second line of defense, right? Now we need to get specific. We need to hone in on the pathogen to really, if it's a problem, then you need to go in and you need to get it. This is where the war happens. You need white blood cells, okay? Now, white blood cells is a whole bunch of them. There's a whole army with a whole bunch of different jobs, and they do all kinds of stuff, right? So here is, dun, dun, they're like the special forces, right? When you have a pathogen in your body, okay? So here we go, dun, dun. There we go, he's got his sunglasses on, he's ready for war. He's even got a little earbud. Yeah, because the white blood cells actually communicate. They do, they talk to each other. They need to find the cells that are bad, the pathogens. And they send out all kinds of warriors, okay? My, here's one right here. This one is, this one is a macrophage. And what they do is they basically, once they know who the bad guys are, they will eat them. Rrr. There we go. The macrophage will eat them up. But wait a second, how do they know who to eat up? Fortunately, there is other cells that can identify. Okay, he's got the binoculars there. Right, he's got his earpiece in too, because he is watching. 
Okay, looking out. He's got his little arm up there. He's watching, he's on the search for the bad pathogens. And then they can, he can tell, oh look, that one's no good, you gotta get it. Who did they send? Well, they also, they have a few soldiers here. And one of them is this guy right here. He's the Hawkeye of the, um, of the uh, white blood cells. And he has this special, he has a special arrow that he shoots at the cells and it makes the cell break down. Yes. Dun dun. He's got a little smirk on his face. There we go. So you have a whole host, a whole army with all these different jobs of these white blood cells. And they're going to come and hopefully defeat the posse of pathogens. Okay. Now, um, we can help this army. Okay. We can help this army because they, they, you need a strong, you need a strong immune system. And you can build up your army if you do things right? If you make good choices, right? It's not all about what you have, but it's what you do with it. And you can help by going to the doctor. Yeah, if you go to a doctor on a regular basis, then you will know when you're sick, if you're getting sick, if you're, if you're liable to get sick. You can keep up with your vaccinations. That's right, Mr. Bowen, he got his first vaccination shot for the COVID. I gotta get my second one in a little bit, okay? So keep up with your vaccinations, all right? Oh, you know this one. You hear this all the time in, in school, I know you do. Wash your hands. Right? You have to wash your hands all the time. If you keep those germs off your body, then you're most likely not going to get sick. Because if you don't wash your hands and you touch stuff and then like pick your nose, pick your mouth, scratch the inside of your ear, all of a sudden those germs have a way in. Right? You got to wash your hands. Okay? There's some bubbles. Washing the hands. Now, um, what else can you do? Well, believe it or not, if you eat healthy, right? When you eat healthy, your immune system likes that. Your immune system gets really weak. If you're eating junk food when you're feeling sick, then you're definitely gonna get sick because junk food does not help your body function and you need your body at your best when you're sick. Let's see, what else can we do? Oh, exercise. That's right. A little light exercise. If you start to feel like you're coming down with something, sometimes it doesn't feel strong. Just barely like, I'm a little off. Sometimes just go for a jog, a light jog. Don't go do intense exercise because then you'll wear yourself down and then you won't be able to make yourself well. But sometimes a little light exercise, you get yourself sweating a little bit, it kind of helps your body start fighting, right? If you're exercising before you feel sick, if you're just exercising on a regular basis, your body is constantly working itself to, to heal itself. Wait a second. That reminds me, you need one more thing that's super helpful. And that is sleep. That's right. You need sleep.
because when you sleep, your body can rest. And when your body is well rested, then your immune system can do the work it needs to do. That's why when you're sick, you just want to lay around and do nothing and it's okay because your body is fighting a, a pathogen and you need rest. If you do all these things, then your immune system will be strong and then you can stop the posse of pathogens and you'll be safe and well, okay? Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed uh, drawing with me. All right, I'll put this picture in the description in the video below if you want to have a copy of it for yourself, okay? Um, I hope everyone has a marvelous week. Stay well. Don't get sick. All right, everybody. So long.